Hello, I'm Jeff Patterson. This is Daniel Tran. Today we're going to look at some single stick exercises and some basic blocking and checking exercises as well as going into trapping range and then getting back out into striking range. So in this series, there is a, it's a five progression series. We're going to step into it and each time it's going to get a little more complex. We're going to add a little bit more in the um, series going from striking range to trapping range and then back out to striking range. So let's uh, go ahead and get started. Um, the, the first variable on this one, he's just going to feed me a, a forehand and a backhand high strike for this first part of the series. So when he feeds, I'm going to block the strike and then I'm going to chap, chap the shoulder. Don't block this one. So from here, I block the strike and I'm working on my precision, my strikes. I'm trying to uh, focus on where I'm hitting and um, I'm just checking my angle of attack. So then he feeds me the backhand and I block and then I go off to this side. Block, hit, block, hit. Okay, that's the basic. Now, I'm gonna do that same thing. The next step, he's gonna come back and check that strike. So let's come this way a little bit. So, block check. Now, with this one, try to make sure that we don't get in the habit of just striking and striking. So it could look like, it's, sometimes it starts to get like we're just doing ecus, like a one and a four, where we're just going here and here. I really want to make sure that every time I'm blocking that, and then he's blocking that, he's not striking on that strike, uh, as opposed to us just both striking on both of them. And then when he feeds, I block and then I strike. Block, strike. And he's striking and then blocking. Striking, blocking. Yes, so we're trying to be really clear on those. Okay, the uh, next variation on this one, we're going to move into the puño or the short end of the stick. And so he feeds me the number one, and I start off the same. I block and I hit, and now he blocks my strike. So from here, I'm going to trap that lead hand and come in with a puño, and he's going to check the puño hand here. So then he feeds the backhand, one, he checks, trap, hit. Again, one, two, three. Good. Now, um, at the end of this series, I'm going to talk about a little bit on how you can break these down a little bit and uh, throw in some other variables to them. But let's just get on with the progression first. So that was uh, number three. Number four is he's going to feed me. I block. He blocks. Check. Hit. Now when he stops my puño strike, I can either pox out inside and hit or I can go to the outside and lop sow and hit, and I'm just gonna do a stop strike here. Okay, again, he feeds. So one, two, three, lop sow, stop strike. Come this way a little bit, go ahead. Good. The last variation of this progression, he feeds me, I come off, I, fo I follow up, I do the same thing we did on the last one, and then from here I'm going to let go and come in with a killing blow, and then he feeds the backhand. One, two, three, stop strike, and come through with a killing blow. One, two, three, hit, and... <clears throat>
good. Now, any one of those five progressions that we did, you can mix it up. So maybe let's go to number two. So maybe we feed number two. He feeds me and then he blocks me. Then we could put together a basic combination. For example, uh, maybe I do redondo forehand slash back and here. So if we go here and I go one, two, redondo slash slash slash. And so you can put together a combination like that when I go through here and to kind of add a little bit of spice to it and, and mix it up a little bit. Again, there's hundreds of ways you can put together a combination off of that, but this is kind of a fun series, teaching students how to get from the striking range into the trapping range and then looking how to get back out as well. Now, of course, also on this, for example, once I get into the trapping range, if I wanted to come in and go into something shorter or maybe I go into, he feeds, one, two, three, go into some locking. You can play the same technique um, with different follow-ups and you know there's thousands of those options that you can do. Uh, not really the purpose of this video, but just to give you the idea. So uh, it's kind of a fun progression to play. Hopefully uh, you're enjoying the content. Uh, if you haven't already, please uh, uh, subscribe to the channel below and we will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you. Raming salamat po.